Day one, the Juyongguan section of the Great Wall of China. It was one of Beijing's signature drizzly days, but that could not dampen our anticipation. Ahead were 33 days, nearly 8,000 miles, on one of the longest, toughest rallies undertaken in a vintage or classic car, a rally dating back over 100 years. The prize then, as today, a magnum of champagne and, of course, the glory. The first Peking to Paris Motor Challenge was in 1907, and that was when it was set up to really prove that the automobile could drive a very long distance. It was two of the most, the furthest capitals on the planet, and they set up this race in order to, to demonstrate that, um, that cars really could do extraordinary journeys like this one. Our own journey was a culmination of years of preparation, including building our car. My co-driver, Mike Reeves, and I were at the helm of a 1940 Ford Coupe we call Shiner. So Shiner, the name of our car, is named after the moonshine smugglers of the 30s, um, who used cars like this because it had a really big trunk, an enormous boot to smuggle all this illegal liquor, and it also had a very fast engine to get away from the cops. Looking rather beautiful, rally prepared. Many of the 96 cars here had been restored especially for the rally. Others had been with their owners for decades. Some of my favourite cars included a 1917 La France Tourer with a huge 14.5 litre engine and a fire engine chassis and the fantastic 100-year-old Ford Model T, the oldest car on the rally. The parking area was soon filled with petrol fumes. The cars began to rev up, one leaving every 30 seconds. We were due out at 08.19 a.m. precisely. And, uh... <sighs> My heart's thumping. Me too. This is the so. culmination of um, a lot of dreams, a lot of time, a lot of effort, and uh, I'm just going to try and not mess it up on the navigation now. Uh, I know. Be, and and the driving. No, it'll be fine on the driving. It's all about the navigation. But yeah. Not cool to diminish heads. the drive. Not to diminish the drive. Cool heads and yeah. um, big deep breath. The steward counted down to our time, and on cue, I pressed down on the accelerator and sounded the horn. We headed west, and so began the new rhythm of our lives for the next month. Long days at the wheel, and long hours fixing the car. We moved across the border into Mongolia. A land of desert steppes and arid grasslands. Racing to make checkpoints and choosing the best track as we pushed on to locate the campsite at Alton Sherry. And just found out that we were in first place in our class, which I'm pretty, I was pretty choked up. It's kind of relief that we're in the running and uh, a sense of promise, um, but also now maybe a sense of like really steely determination. And there was a day off for everyone in the Mongolian capital, Ulaanbaatar. A so-called rest day that for most competitors was a day spent making repairs and trying to source spare parts. With the finishing touches done, including cleaning the air filters, 
we were ready for the next stage, what was slated to be the hardest section of the rally, the Mongolian grasslands and the Gobi Desert.